Hello, hi everyone. I am going to be speaking with Jennifer Johnson today and she's going to be sharing her egg donor story. We had a call earlier this week so I could find out more about her, what she went through and she is kindly gonna be sharing her experience of selecting a donor, deciding egg donation was right for her and her husband, what it involved, the process to get there, how she used Donor Egg Bank USA with their assured refund plan to finally have her children. So, going to... And for anyone who is joining and doesn't know, head to our link in bio. Uh, we are, we have teamed up with California Cryo Bank and Donor Egg Bank USA. Hello, to give away um, $2,000 credit to someone in the US who is looking for support with finding an egg donor or sperm donor, any of their services. So please head to our link in bio to find out more and apply now. Hello, Jennifer, welcome. Hello, how are you this morning? I'm good. Evening for me, but all the evening for you, I was about to say. Morning for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lovely to be speaking with you. I just gave a brief introduction, but I haven't gone into your story yet. Um, could you explain a little bit about you, um, why you're here on the um, Donor Egg Bank USA account? And um, we're going to be talking about your egg donor recipient journey today. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah, so, hi, I'm Jennifer Johnston. Um, I live in Canada and I. Uh, we've had kind of a long journey to get to, to get to using an egg donor. Um, it's obviously been a difficult journey as it is for most people who, who end up using an egg donor. Uh, most people don't think of it as the first thing that they're going to try when they think of building a family. Um, but I've learned through my journey that it's just an amazing way to build your family. And it's been um, sort of the perfect solution for us. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm a working mom of three little boys now, which is something I never thought I would be able to say. And uh, so life is very busy, but, uh, but very full and very good. And so um, tell us about your fertility story, because I know that you have been through baby loss before you became a mother. Yes, definitely. Um, so along the way, we, uh, we, well, we tried for about three years to, to have children. And we went through a number of rounds of IVF along the way using my own eggs. And we would sort of, we would get a decent response. Everything would look good. There's lots of follicles, there's lots of eggs. You know, I was about 31 or 32 the first time, I think 33 the second time, you know, and it looked good. And then we would retrieve them and they would, a couple would fertilize and they would limp along and it would be getting, you know, we wouldn't have any blastocysts on day five. We, we would have sort of a morella on day five and well, let's just transfer it because it's what we've got. So each time I would get pregnant uh, and then I would miscarry very early on. And um, we didn't really, we were considered unexplained. All my fertility test results came back normal. Uh, everything looked normal uh, on paper, but clearly something wasn't normal because I'd been tracking and taking my temperature and, you know, I, I knew our timing was right. It had been a couple of years, you know, we just weren't getting anywhere. And then the IVF kind of confirmed it when we sort of started seeing you know, the eggs look dark and grainy. They're not fertilizing properly, that kind of thing. Did they do PGT on, PGTA on your embryos? They didn't because we never really got embryos. You know, okay. we, we got Morellas and, you know, maybe only one. So it just wasn't, wasn't worth kind of doing. You, you, they have to be, you know, good quality and freezable to, to withstand that. So when, when and how did you decide, okay, let's look at the egg donor route? Well, so... What happened is after our second round of IVF, the very next month, we actually got pregnant on our own um, out of nowhere. Uh, well, out of nowhere, but after a lot of drugs <laughs> and something jump started something and I don't know how, but so I have to add that we ended up actually carrying that pregnancy to term and we, we had our first son um, who is genetically related to me. Uh, we decided to start trying again as soon as we could after that because I was only getting older and we didn't think our chances were going to be getting any better and we definitely wanted a sibling. So started trying around the one year mark, nine month mark and another year and a bit went by, did another round of IVF through everything at it, the kitchen sink, you know, like I say, growth hormone and uh, testosterone cream and you know intralipids and we, we did everything and I had the worst result yet uh, once again chemical pregnancy early miscarriage that's when I kind of said okay you know I don't know the exact uh, quote but basically insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result and 
I was only getting older and the results were only getting worse. So to keep spending, you know, $20,000 around for IVF, it just did not make sense. And we're not rich people and I thought, you know, we can't do this. So I had already been looking at donor eggs before our surprise pregnancy. So I went back to that and revisited it with my clinic, All of Fertility. And how did your husband feel about it? You know, he was pretty supportive. Oh, sorry, you cut out there for one second. Friends and family, did you tell them as well? I did, yeah, we did tell them as well. Um, initially, when we were just kind of signing the paperwork and making the decision to move forward, we, uh, I let my parents know, my in-laws knew, my close friends knew. Um, I wasn't broadcasting it, but I wasn't really hiding it either. It was just kind of a lot of my close friends knew about our struggles already. So um, it made sense to sort of tell them that we were going in a different direction now. Mm -hmm. And so how did you find Donor Egg Bank USA and what made you go for the assured refund plan? Tell us a bit more about yeah. that. That is something that really I would tell anybody going through donor eggs and I have told many people looking at going through donor eggs is I would personally, I would not do this without an assured refund plan. Donor eggs are wonderful and they're fabulous, but like with anything, there's, there's margin for error, there's just because they're great young donor eggs doesn't mean it will necessarily work the first time. Hopefully it will, uh, but sometimes it doesn't for whatever reason. Um, and, uh, and I just think it's such a, you know, it's expensive. It's emotionally a huge investment. It's so to buy a single lot for me and then our first lot didn't work for us. Um, just unfortunately, I, I did get pregnant, but I miscarried early on again. And I thought, oh, you know, even with donor eggs, you know, I, you know, but because I was in the assured refund plan, I was able to go and go, okay, no, take a breath, take some time, pick a new donor, you know, move forward. And if we hadn't had that plan, I definitely, I can't imagine I would have my two youngest sons now. Wow. Okay. So uh, what, what, what round did it work? And was it with the same donor that you had picked from the beginning? It, it wasn't. And uh, that's something I didn't know when I started the plan. I originally, I kind of thought, well, once you pick a donor, like that's your donor. Uh, but of course, what I didn't realize really is that, you know, they have lots available and, you know, she wasn't available again this next time. And they often suggest if the first one doesn't work, maybe it's better to pick a different donor. Um, After working. If, yeah, if, if one lot of eggs doesn't work, right? So, you know, you could have three embryos if you try all three embryos and, and none of them take, well, maybe you should try somebody else, you know? So we only had two that made it, we had two that made, made it to day three at the time and we transferred them both. They both took, but miscarried really early. So we like to say regrouped and then really thought about it and actually a donor that we'd loved from day one, um, but that we had understood wasn't going to be coming available again, came back um, on the market. A lot was reserved by somebody and they decided to release their hold on it. And Dr. Eggbank was so helpful in um, making sure that I could kind of be ready when that lot was released back um, because they knew how much I wanted that one and they knew what we'd just been through. And so they were really, really supportive. And, um, and out of that lot of six eggs, we got four blastocysts, uh, one on day five that we transferred fresh, um, you know, right after being created, which is our son Felix. And then we froze three on day six. Um, a lot of people don't realize this, but day six embryos do virtually the same as day five, provided that they're transferred in a future cycle. So we picked the best one uh, two years later or a year later, I guess. And, and two years after Felix was born, uh, Miller was born. Wow. Amazing. Yes. So yeah. your two youngest sons are from the same egg donor. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So our, our middle and son and our youngest son are our full genetic siblings. And our oldest son is 50% is genetic siblings to, to the younger two brothers. Have you started talking to them about it? We have just a little bit because um, it's tricky because our oldest is old enough now that he could understand a bit more of this. But because he's not donor conceived, I sort of feel strangely talking to him about it if his brothers aren't really able to understand it yet. Yes. So I'm kind of trying to wait for the middle one at least to sort of be at a level where he can understand it and we can be explaining it to our older son at the same time. So we've just started doing that. And what, um, how did you pick your egg donor? What was the support available at 
Don't Egg Bank USA? Uh, you know what? They were really, really great. Um, I had it narrowed down to two. I'm a list maker. I'm a definite type A person. I had, you know, number of eggs and age and the clinic she donated at. And, you know, this one looks more like me, but that one is younger. And this one has, you know, so I had all my criteria. Um, you know, age was a big factor for me because, you know, that was something I was looking at. I mean, I was only in my early 30s. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't necessarily, you know, I, I knew that you could be 30, 31 and, and not have good egg quality. So somebody a little bit younger was something I was kind of looking for. Um, something that I initially looked for that I would recommend people maybe not look as much into is education. Because at first I thought, oh, you know, I want somebody with, you know, an advanced degree and somebody who's, you know, really intelligent. And, and then as I went along, I quickly realized, well, if you want somebody young, um, they're not, not they're not going to have that, right? It's not an indication of it. It's just their age. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of times people don't think about that. But, you know, these people are often going through college or university. They're often very motivated, driven people who are looking to, you know, they want to give back. They're also maybe financially looking to, to go through university or things like that. So it kind of goes together. And so I ended up picking someone who um, could have been my sister. We looked so much alike. Uh, we had a lot of the same interests. I mean, right down to the same shoe size and being, you know, right-handed and, you know, our love of writing and journalism and she cheerleaded in high school and so did I and I read her writing and I just felt like she was someone I'd want to be friends with in real life. And she was only two years younger than me in the end. Uh, we were close to the same age. She donated at 28 a couple of years before. Um, so it actually ended up not being a huge difference, but I talked to Donor Egg Bank and they told me she'd had great results. Um, she has like 10 confirmed live births. Wow. Um, so pluses and minuses, there's a lot of other, you know, siblings out there. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted somebody who had proven egg quality and she definitely did. Yeah, absolutely. And the Assured Refund Plan, what kind of confidence did it give you going into that? Did it make you feel less, not, not less apprehensive, but did it give you some sort of a reassurance if you like that not, every, not everything you were paying for and emotionally involved in was riding on each, ra each cycle that you had? Or each completely. Yeah, completely. I think just the stress it takes off alone like yeah. when you're going through IVF and you're paying for it and you know that you're paying $20,000 and you may get nothing out of it. And we got, you know, our doctors, our team were amazing, but there's nothing ah. they can do if my egg quality isn't there. Um, so <laughs> knowing we, I called it, I mean, it sounds a little silly, but I called it my, uh, my baby or new kitchen plan. Because <laughs> I figured if everything goes sideways, uh, you know, we get our money back and I'm going to go put in a new kitchen and, you know, and, and we'll, what can you do right we've given it everything we can give it so uh, but we were reassured that and if you look into it there's very 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 high success rates for people who qualify for the plan and most people qualify for the plan um, it may not be the first round or even the second round but most people um, do bring home a baby with the plan and that was incredibly reassuring for me and took a lot of the pressure off Amazing, amazing. For anyone who's just joined, if you didn't know, um, we have teamed up with Donor Egg Bank USA and California Cryobank Bank to give one of our readers the most incredible gift of $2,000 of credit towards donor sperm or donor eggs, which, so I'm a mother of donor sperm, conceived children, and it's, um, I, I personally think it's the most incredible route to parenthood. So if anyone out there is, for whatever reason, looking at donor conception, head to our link in bio to take advantage of applying now. Um, and I wanted to ask you, because I know that you've had two, you've got three sons, but you've had two using the same donor. Yes. So what happened after the success of having your second son? You, having used the Assured Refund Plan, you already had the embryos created, didn't you? So right. was it, fairly easy to then try again for another child it's incredibly easy um if you if you're lucky enough to have extra embryos from the assured refund plan those are your embryos so if you get six eggs and two or three or four or five become uh, blastocysts um those are yours i mean in my case they're they're fertilized with my husband's sperm they're you know there are embryos to keep so um, the first year of storage was was covered at the time that I did it. I don't know if that's still the case or not. But um, so we had a year and then we just paid the storage fee. And then when we were ready, it was basically taking oral estrogen and then starting progesterone once your lining is there and they thaw and they transfer. 
and it's you know it's like less than a pap smear kind of thing and you know you wait and see if you're pregnant like it's it's such a simple thing to go for a sibling when you have frozen embryos ready to go um, we could wait till the lining looked good till everything was you know in a good place and then we just you know thaw and transfer so very very simple uh, we still have two embryos remaining and we haven't decided what to do about that yet but we're we're not planning any more children i don't think at this point mm -hmm. um and in terms of the selection of your donor was yeah. it how long did it take from like first contacting donor egg bank usa to mm. kind of get conditions of having treatment with the egg donor right so um like when, when i first contacted and signed the contract and kind of got the full access to the site so i could see the detailed profiles to when we picked our first donor, I would say it was about three to four weeks. Wow. Um, yeah, three to four weeks. You know, I'm, again, I was looking all the time, all the time, right? Constantly checking because, you know, new people come up and they go quickly. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And the, the, the good ones or the ones that I was looking for would go quite, quite fast. So I was constantly looking. And the nice thing is you, you can't lock in more than one, one at once. But if you find one that you like, you can lock them in and you have a little bit of time then to get your ducks in a row, do the background, make sure the genetic portion and everything is okay um, before you move forward. So if I found someone that I really loved, I could, I could hold them quickly, you know, work, work to get those things sorted out and then move forward. Were you able to see adult photos? Yes, yes, childhood and adult photos. Um, depends on which um, egg bank they donated as to how many photos and that kind of thing, because it, it did vary a little bit but definitely adult and childhood photos, which was really nice. And a lot of family background and, um, you know, just like their writings and their thoughts and, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of information about them, blood type. I mean, all kinds of things that, that you know, factored in. My donor actually has the same blood type as me too. Like I say, it was, it was everything kind of across the board. Then that's not something that you have to have, but it was just kind of a, a nice to have. Yeah, yeah. And it probably helped you in your decision as well. Was your husband always on board with it and did, was he you know happy to try again for a sibling and preferred <laughs> donor if you like I, I missed the very last part of what you said there preferred donor was he always on board did you have the same views and preferences i i kind of yes he sort of had said to me early on when we sort of decided that we were going to go this route um and I, it was kind of me leading the charge for sure like i was saying okay i think this is this makes sense for us and you know i've looked into the finances for this i think this is how we can do it um he sort of said well you know you're the one who's not going to have the genetic um dna connection so really you pick the donor um you know what i mean like i'd like to <laughs> make sure i sign off on it but basically he kind of left it up to me to pick who i was comfortable with um, because in a way they were going to be filling in for my portion <laughs> of the genetics, if you will. So he was very uh, flexible about that and it basically gave me a lot of latitude to sort of pick who I liked. And then once I narrowed it down, um, we were in agreement on who to go ahead with in both, both donors that we chose. Fantastic. If anyone has got any questions for Jennifer about the Assured Refund Plan at Donor Egg Bank USA or anything about sort of raising donor conceived children or the process, anything like that, she's obviously so lovely and welcoming and open to talking about it. So really, really appreciate you sharing your journey. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Is there anything else that you think people should consider if they're looking to go down the egg donor route? Oh, well, the one thing I guess I would say is that I have a bit of a unique perspective in that I have a genetic child who, you know, who's completely mm -hmm. my genetics. Um, and I have two children that are donor conceived. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people um, who are sometimes looking at donor eggs may not be in that same scenario where they don't have genetic children already. Uh, some do. Um, but I guess the thing that I can just say, at least in my own personal experience, is that there is just no difference. Like there is, I so rarely think about it. Um, I mean, I do in terms of, I think, oh, yeah, yeah I, have to, I have to talk to him more about that, or I have to, you know, I have to bring it up again, but it's just, it's so, it's so far in the back of my mind on a day-to-day -day basis, they just all feel completely like, I mean, they, they are my children, so I just, um, to reassure anyone out there who worries that they won't feel that connection, or who already has a child and just thinks, oh, how could I feel the same way about a donor can see child as I do about my child I have now, um, it's just like I think when you think of having a second genetically related child, you love your first child so much, you can't imagine how you'll love a sibling. Mm -hmm. um, and you just do like you're just your capacity for love grows. And I just think it's, uh, it's such a great way to expand your family.
Amazing. Thank you so much for sharing today. It's oh, been thank you for having me. Thank you. And yeah, anyone watching, if you'd like to check out and apply for $2,000 worth of credit towards Donor Eggs or Donor Sperm or the services at Donor Egg Bank USA or California Crow Bank, you have until the 1st of July to apply. Head to our link in bio now. Um, and yeah, um, what an opportunity. Thank you for having me. Great opportunity for me to share. And I hope it helps somebody else out there who's in the situation I was in at one point. So thanks, Jennifer. Lovely chatting. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye-bye.